All set for the faceoff at center right. And for the St. Louis Blues, that's Red Berenson, number seven at center right, 17 Don McKenney, and Jerry Melnick, number 16 on the right wing, Barkley Flager, and Jimmy Roberts are on the defense. Keon Armstrong and Mahavlik for the Maple Leafs. Picked off by Berenson, he overscapes the puck. Stanley tried to get it ahead to Armstrong, broken up by Barkley Flager, knocked by Horton to Keon. Keon shot it in, Mahavlik races after it, right in front with a shot. Another drive in front, and Seth Martin made the save. Armstrong steals the puck to Keon. Keon then tried to relay it to Armstrong, and St. Louis cleared out. Casper Berenson, Armstrong clipping it right out of Barkley Plager's stick. Went between Horton and, Ar and uh, Stanley, and Keon sees Mahavli. Back to Stanley. Long shot off the board. The rebound to Barkley Plager, given to Jerry Melnick for McKinney off the skate. Ron Ellis on the ice. Offside, Mike Walton. St. Louis send out Frank St. Marseille at center right. Terry Crisp is number 19 on the left wing, and Gary Sablin, number 11, on the right side. Playing on the defense, Old Picard and Bob Plager. Puck is knocked back to Marcel Pronovo. He cleared it ahead, nowhere near Rupp. Walton missed it. Bob Plager shot the puck into the lead zone. Rupp goes after it. Bauer is there first to Bob Pulford. Picard took a long shot. They golf at it. Here's a chance for a backhand, and Bauer tipped it off to the wing. Rupp is covered by St. Marseille. Ellis comes out now for the lead. A long pass to Walton. Walton over the blue line, getting in front, going right in on goal, score! Walton! The puck is cleared by Ron Schock into the leaf zone from the faceoff. Out there in the forward line with Tim Ecclestone and Billy McCreary. Held against the boards, Walton playing with Pulford and Ellis. Have a penalty here to the St. Louis Club. Shock will get the penalty. Here it is. Two minutes for hooking. The time 1:54. I don't make police have a man advantage playing six men to five. Melnick is up there along with Billy McCreary to kill off the penalty. Playing on the defense, we have Al Iber and Ray Fortan. The Leafs have Mahavlich, Walton, Keon, Hillman, and Tappan. Keon going over the line, standing in front of the defense, getting set, turn, still has it. Over to Hillman. Hillman lets his shot go. Walton tipping it to Mahavlich, comes back to Hillman. A backhand in front of the net. Here's Walton, they score! Walton. Walton. Assist number two, Hillman, and number 27, Mahabal. The time, 2.21. The puck is at the St. Louis blue line. Stopped by Horton, a long shot. Martin stopped that. 
Goes out over the blue line, and Stanley shoots it back in again. Demkowski has the puck along the boards to Stanley. Shot it to the other side. Came out in front of the net. Trying to bring it out is Brackley Plager. He does the center to the leaf line and over. Horton gets it up for Stankowski. Brought it into the leaf zone, and Horton helps him out. Off the boards to Carlton. Carlton cuts around the defense, going right in on goal to Papp, and he shoots the score! Toronto goal scored by number 18, Papin. Assist, number 25, Carlton, and number 7, Horton. The time, 3.07. Carlton is stopped by number 14, Tim Ecclestone, coming over the line with shot. By the center, it's Jim Papin. A long pass for Carlton down the left wing, over the blue line. For Samkowski, and he shot it wide. Talk a pass, cleared up to center right. Down goes Tim Ecclestone, trying to catch up with him on the left side, and the puck was for Keenan, and he was hit by Stankowski, and he's into the boards, and he's hurt. All set for the faceoff in the Maple Leafs zone to the right. The St. Louis Blues have a man advantage playing six men to five. And they have Frank St. Marseille at center ice, Berenson on the left wing, Melnick on the right, McKenney and Picard back at the blue line. Keon and Armstrong with Rupp and Marcel Pronovo as Keon gets it out over the line. Picard gets it over here to Jerry Melnick. Melnick over the line to St. Marseille. There's his shot. It's behind the net. Keon leaves it there. Out in front to McKinney. Kenny couldn't control it. Chopped it off the glass. Rupp then stepped into his check. They hold it against the board. No further play. Face off in the lead zone. St. Louis gets the draw. They have a man advantage. McKinney back at the blue line over to Picard. Picard takes his shot. Bauer caught it. Flipped it over for Pronovo and Keon. Marcel Pronovo gets it down the ice. McKinney goes back for it along with Berenson, St. Marseille, Melnick, and Picard. St. Louis with Don McKinney. St. Marseille has moved over to the left side. Berenson is ahead of him. He shoots the puck into the lead zone. Bauer shot it into the corner. Melnick back for Picard. His shot hit Keon. He's got a breakaway. Going down alone. Over the blue line. Playing with Armstrong. Right in on goal. And Martin made the save on Keon from point blank range. Back up the ice for St. Marseille. Stopped by Tronovo. St. Marseille. Wait for Melnick's pass. Over the line comes Berenson. Keon stopped him, and Tronovo shoots the puck down the ice. St. Louis coming up out of their own zone. Don McKinney, a long shot. Bauer stopped it to Pulford. He overskates the puck. St. Marseille of St. Louis covered by Horton. Pulford shot it down the ice. Picard, poke check by Oliver. Now then Picard comes up, a long shot. Bauer juggled it, and then Murray Oliver gets a hold of it as Stankowski is back on the ice. Tried to feed Pulford, ran into Picard for Oliver, up for Pulford. Pulford racing after it into the St. Louis zone. 
He's covered there by number 20, Ray Fortan. Fortan of St. Louis falls. Walt nearly stole the puck. He comes back to Horton and shot. Horton just got a piece of it. Ellis Colfrey uh, comes out on the left side to shock. Shock with Ecclestone. They're over the line. Shock is tripped. There's going to be a penalty here to the lead. Stopped in by 410, a shot. Ellis gets a hold of it, play is tall. Toronto penalty to number seven, Horton. Two minutes for tripping. Time, 6.30. St. Louis with a man advantage, six men to five. Jock at center ice, McCreary on the left wing, Ecclestone on the right. Back is Barkley Plager, here's a pass in front and a shot, knocked down, and out over the blue line off Marcel Proneville. Barkley Plager. A pass, here's a chance over the line, closing in a weak shot, and Armstrong shoots it out and between Barkley Plager and Jim Roberts. That's Tim Ecclestone, number 14. Shock is at center. Billy McCreary on the left side. Jim Roberts. Over to Barkley Plager, back to Roberts. Up here to Ecclestone. Shot it into the lead zone. Armstrong goes after it. Cleared it around on the board. Ecclestone centered it. Shock can't get a drive. Gets it back to Barkley Plager. His shot is going high into the end blues. Romney face-off. Puck is back at the blue line. Barkley Plager over to Jim Roberts. The shot is wide. The rebound knocked into the corner. Here's the... Trying to get it out in front. And Barkley Plager is checked. And Rupp goes down the right wing to center. Over the blue line. Stop. Still has it. Then lets it go. Red Berenson out there with Melnick and McKinney. Barkley Plager tried to go through the defense, and it was knocked back out to center. St. Louis Blues with a man advantage, six men to five, as Berenson turns. He stopped by Rupp. Now it's Bob Plager. He stopped by Rupp and Marcel Pronovo. Jim Roberts. He tries to shoot it in. He does. And it's Bauer to Marcel Pronovo. And his high shot goes down the ice. Picard goes back for it. No Picard. Up to Jerry Melnick. Over for Don McKinney. McKinney, a pass for Picard. Right on to Berenson stick. For McKinney, stopped by Hillman. Keon gives it back to Stanley. Up for Horton, is now on the ice. Armstrong feeds Keon. He shoots it over the line. He's grabbed by Picard. Bob Plager gets it into the corner. Melnick, a pass for Berenson. Berenson back to Melnick. Up at center. Shot it over the line. Berenson goes after it. Mahavich is there first. Around on the board. Armstrong to Hellman. Hellman took a hefty check from Bob Plager. A shot is deflected out over the line. Mahavich feeds Keon. Keon can't get away. Melnick is checked. Hillman and the Keon over the line. There's his shot and Martin stopped that. The rebound all the way out to the blue line. Kept in by Armstrong to Mahavlich. Mahavlich is hit by Picard. He goes down. It's underneath him and play is called.
All set for the face off in the St. Louis zone of the right. Time to draw Carlton back for Horton. It's tipped out and down the ice. By Terry Crisp, number 19. Back over the line for the lead. Tap in the shot. Martin deflected into the corner. Arbor gets it up to center. Stopped by Stanley. Stanley shoots it back in again. St. Marseille with Terry Crisp on one wing and Gary Sabrin on the other. The pass to Sabrin. Sabrin goes over the blue line, over to the far side and falls. Back for Stankowski. Over the line with Carlton. Stankowski is dumped, but it's offside. Face off, Semkowski back to Stanley. Got it back into the St. Louis zone. Semkowski ran into his check, tap and centered it. All the way back to Horton. His shot is grabbed by Martin. Holds it for a face off. Ron Chalk is now on the forward line with Billy McCreary and Tim Nicholson for St. Louis. Walton, Pulford, and Ellis for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Face off to the left of Seth Martin. All ready to go. Walton for Pulford, picked off by uh, McCreary. Jim Roberts is checked by Pulford. Marcel Conovo is turned around. Ron Schock of St. Louis. Up to center ice. Took a long shot. Bauer steered into the corner. Mike Walton shot it to the other side. Ellis covered his man. Mike Walton picked it up. Trying to get away. Get it off. Rough. Mark Pulford, it was behind him. Jim Roberts covers up for St. Louis, off the glass and out the center. Marcel Pronovo shot it back offside. On the faceoff. Picked off there by a Barkley Plager. Up to center right, Marcel Pronovo took his man out. Number 14, Tim Ecclestone. Rupp then for Ellis. Can't get away. Ron Schock gets it to Barkley Plager. Back to Jim Roberts. Up at center, Marcel Pronovo breaks it up. Shot it back to the St. Louis defense. Barkley Plager again with it. Up at center right for Schock. Over the line, the drive is wide. Another shot goes wide of the net. Ellis just shoots it up to center ice. On the right wing now for number 14, Tim Ecclestone. To McCreary on the left wing offside. Red Berenson, Jerry Melnick, and Don McKinney. Bob Plager and Noel Picard for St. Louis. The long shot is wide. And it hopped over into the crowd. Romney face off, Stanley to Horton to Keon up for Armstrong. Knocked down by Berenson. Keon rolls after it, gets over the line, trying to cut in front. Face off to the side by Picard. There's going to be a penalty there. They're holding. Four 
up the card. Two minutes for holding. The time, 12-11. Leads for the man in vantage, playing six men to five. Keon Mahomlich Armstrong. Tried to get it for Keon. Picked up by Melnick. And Melnick shoots it down the ice. Jim Pappen going back for it. He's back of the leaf net. For Keon, who's pulled away from his check. Up for Armstrong. Tried to relay it to Hillman. Picked off by Berenson to Melnick. Gets it back to Al Arbor. Shoots it at to Berenson over here to Melnick. And they shoot it down the ice in the leaf zone. Keon again will try his luck. Back to Pappen. Over for Hillman. Up to Mahavlich. Mahavlich took his shot, hit the back of the net. Keon moves in, kicks it to Mahavlich. Mahavlich covers his man. Puck is loose. Keon tried to dig it out, and he did, but it was called. Jock and McCreary out there now for St. Louis to kill off this penalty to Noel Picard. Leafs have Walton, Keon, Mahomet, Pappen, and Hillman. From the faceoff, it's in the circle. Frank Mahomet digs it out, but was checked. Jim Pappen goes back for the Leafs into his own zone. Waiting for Keon. Pappen takes it. A pass for Walton is deflected down the ice. Walton races after it. Touched first by number five, Bob Plager. It'll be called for racing. They face off. Dylan McCreary knocked it back to Jim Roberts. All the way back to Barkley Plager for Billy McCreary. Hillman checked by the St. Louis player and it's Pappen now to Walt. Back to Pappen. Straight up the ice for Pappen. Over the line. Four of them closing in. Pappen stops for Ron Ellis. Gets it through. It goes to the board. Knocked ahead to McCreary. Pappen gets back to check him. For Pulford too far. Knocked out by Roberts. Hillman going over the line. Checked by Shock. He shot it out on the wing. And as it went out, it went over the boards into the crowd. Canada and hockey fans in the United States, Bill Hewitt and Brian McFarland here at Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. The score, Toronto Maple Leaf three, St. Louis Blues nothing. Toronto Maple Leaf scored three goals in less than three and a half minutes of the first period and have been putting the pressure on this St. Louis Blues. But here they come down the ice. Number 11 is Gary Sabrin. St. Marseille is number nine. And number 19 is Terry Crisp on the left wing. Playing back on the defense are Ray Fortin, number 20, and Al Arbor, number three. The Leafs have Carlton out there with Sankowski and number 17, who is Mike Byers. 
There's a long shot by Carlton and hit Al Iver. He gets another try right in front. Mike Byers was standing there. Samkowski covered his check. The puck goes loose. Picked up and brought out by Gary Sablin. Puck is into the corner and they hold it there. Samkowski and Al Iver shoving. That's the first time we've seen uh, Mike Byers on the ice. He's replacing Brian Conacher out with the flu and Mike Walton was the big gun in the first two and a half minutes, scoring his 18th goal from Allison Rupp at 136. There's a look at Mike Byers. Then Walton came right back at 221 with his, with his 19th of the season from Hillman and Mahovlich, and Tappen got his 11th from Carlton and Horton at 307. On the faceoff, the shot goes wide of the St. Louis net. Armstrong faked the pass, got it in front again. Mahovlich let one go. Keon tries to center it. He does right to Armstrong, a backhand. Another try, Keon right in front with a shot, and it was blocked neatly by number five, Bob Plager. You'll notice on the videotape replay between periods that uh, Sabrin and Picard screened Seth Martin on Walton's first goal, and then Al Arbor was the goat on the second one when he failed to clear it, and Walton was able to score. There's the out-of-town scoreboard, Cornwoye scoring for Montreal, one to nothing over Oakland. On the faceoff, back to Armstrong, a shot grabbed by Seth Martin. Thrown to the corner, an old Picard for Jerry Melnick, stopped by Stanley. Mahavlis shot it to the corner. Stanley gets right in front of the net. Martin is there. Mahavlis touched it. Picard took a shove at Mahavlis. And Mahavlis has been throwing his weight around all through this first period, Brian. Well, so is Picard, Bill. <laughs> he's, he's the villain on that uh, St. Louis Blues roster and uh, takes great, great pride in his ability to to dump bodies on the ice, but Mahavlich, as you say, once in that period knocked two of them down in the corner. First Al Arbor and then Red Berenson. One on top of the other, I might add. Romney face off, Armstrong after it, behind the net. Centered it for Mahavlich, Melnick had him covered. And cleared out over the blue line to center ice and Stanley shoots it up for Keon. Keon shot it in, Picard went after Keon. Mahavlich is alone behind the net. Past the stick out in front. Armstrong gets a hold of it. That's a new play. Armstrong for Stanley. Stanley over to Mahavlich. He shoots. And a great save by Martin, who had to come out on Frank Mahavlich. Well, we'll take another look at that. As a humorous note there was injected as Mahavlich behind the net shot part of a blade of a stick out. But this happened just prior to this play. There's the pass, a fine pass from Stanley and the shot with uh, Martin going down, and also uh, Bob Plager of the St. Louis Blues going down to block the shot. That's deception, shooting the hockey, blade of a hockey stick out in front. Number six is Jimmy Roberts of St. Louis. He turned it up on the right side for number 14, Tim Ecclestone, and they hold it against the board. That's Ron Shock, number 10, and number 15, Bill McCreary on the left wing. Well, the Leafs are going to make a change. Jim Roberts and Barkley Plager are the two defensemen. The reason we're using the first names is because we have a Bob Plager and a Barkley Plager playing for St. Louis. That's Seth Martin in goal. And Toronto is leading St. Louis 3-0. Two goals by Mike Walt. One by Jim Pappen. Ron Schock. Up St. Louis, gives it to Roberts. Roberts now straight up the ice to his own blue line to center. Shot the puck in right at Bauer. Bauer hasn't had too much work in this first period. Gets a drive that's wide. McCreary leaves it. Roberts is shot right on. Bauer catches it and holds on to it. 2.43 remaining in the first period. 3-0 Toronto. Well, I don't think John Bowers had more than three or four shots to handle in this uh, first period of play, but Seth Martin has certainly been kept busy at the other end of the rink. Romney faceoff, it's cleared to the blue line and out. Number eight, Barkley Plager, carrying it back. McCreary right on Ellis' stick. He just content to shoot it out. Barkley Plager tries to get over the line. He does. They're closing in right in front to him, and Bauer made the save. Ruff lost it. Here's a pass in front. McCreary who took his shot wide. Poked off into the corner. Shot back to the blue line. Roberts lets his shot go. That's high. It's back of the net. McCreary tries to center it. Rupp covered his man. Marcel Pronovo tips into the corner. Rupp for Ellis. 
Plager, Barkley Plager had him covered. Here's a chance for McCreary a shot, and that's off the target. McCreary another try, and Walton steers it up for Ellis, only to be checked. In again for shot. Uh, not a hard shot. Ellis tried to get loose on the left wing. Barkley Plager covered him. Walton went into the whole pile and finally wound up with the puck with 1.41 remaining in the first period. It's 3 nothing for the Toronto Maple Leafs over the St. Louis Blues who are putting on a determined bid in this latter part of the first period to get on the score sheet. That's St. Marseille. Number nine at center ice. Number 11 is Gary Chablin. And number 19, Terry Crisp on the left wing. Al Iber is three, and Ray Fortan is also on the defense, number 20. Here's Wayne Carlton. Pass up for Stankowski, over the line. Back to Carlton, he shoots. Oh, and he just missed the corner with that hot drive. Back for St. Marseille at center ice for St. Louis. Over on the right wing to Sablin. Right on with the shot. Arton picks up the rebound. Stick handling out with Carlton. Carlton takes the puck. Here's the shot at center, and it was deflected over on the wing. Pappen trying to center it. Last minute of the play in this period. Fortan to St. Marseille as Carlton missed him with a body check. On the right side, it was number 11, Sabrin skated off, and Horton shoots it out. Terry Chris to St. Marseille over the blue line. Shot by Stanley. There's a shot by Sabrin. Chris missed the rebound. Into the corner for Horton. Checked by Arbor. Arbor holding it against the board. It goes loose to Stanley to Dave Keon. Over to Pappen. Pappen's shot was deflected back in the leaf zone. And it's Horton turning now with 20 seconds left. In this first period. A long pass for Carlton. He left it there. Back for Sabrin. A long shot. Bauer caught it. And threw it over to Armstrong with seven seconds remaining in this first period. Kept in by number 20, Ray Fortan. One second, there goes the bell. And the first period is over. With two goals by Mike Walton at 136 and 221. And Jim Pappen from Carlton and Horton at 307. There were four penalties, two apiece. Handed up for referee Wally Harris. And Brian, uh, you and I are quite surprised the shots on goal in the first period. The Leafs outshot St. Louis 16 to 11. The puck is back into the St. Louis zone from the faceoff. Stanley took a shot, deflects into the corner. Picked up by uh, number 15, Bill McCreary. He goes back of his own goal there at the south end of the right. Keon goes against the board. Being watched there by Al Iber. The puck goes loose. Al Iber shot it around on the board. Not far enough. Horton gets his shot away right on. Seth Martin covered up with his stick and then went down to hold it. Toronto three, St. Louis nothing. 1934 to play in the second period. Detroit leading Pittsburgh one to nothing on a goal by Allman from McGregor at 16:10 of the first period. That game being played at Pittsburgh tonight. Red Berenson at center ice. Jerry Melnick on the right wing. Don McKenney on the left. Barkley Plager and Jim Roberts on the defense. Keon for Armstrong. Six handles by one and two to Mahavlich. The Havlis goes over the blue line. Trying to get around to the fence, he does. Goes the hack of the net, right in front of Armstrong. Stanley moves up with a shot. Here's Keon right in front of the net. The rebound, Armstrong, to the door! George Armstrong. Well, that was one of those seven iron shots with Seth Martin helpless after Keon had a good chance. We'll watch it on the playback. Here's Keon's opportunity. Martin comes down the block. The rebound comes out. You can see it going high in the air. And look at that golf shot by Armstrong through past three St. Louis Blues players, including Seth Martin, who was sprawled there, number 30. Ten, Armstrong. Assist number 14, Keon. And number 26, Stanley. Time, 49 seconds. On the faceoff, the puck is shot back to Rupp. Rupp to Walton. Walton goes up the ice, over the blue line, closing in with Ellis. Ellis took a shot from the right wing. It was stopped. Berenson feeds McKenney to Melnick. Walton stole the puck. Here he's got a chance. Took his shot, and he missed the corner. Ellis moved up and shot it back of the net. 
Jim Roberts off the board, stopped by Marcel Cronovo, a shot right on. Barkley Plager over to John McKenney. Walton grabs him, but the puck comes out to Berenson. Berenson trying to get over the line. Ellis gets it up to Walton. Walton failed to get loose. Cleared in by Roberts into the lead zone, and Bauer stops it there for Marcel Cronovo. Back of Ellis, up to center ice. Bob Plager then to Berenson, stopped by Rupp to Ron Ellis. To Bob Pulford. He was given a bump by Bob Plager. It goes over on the right side to Melnick. He stopped by Marcel Cronovo to Pulford. Behind Walton. Bob Plager then moves up for St. Louis. Up over the line, stopped by Pulford. It hit the gate. It was open, and it deflects the Picard. No Picard of St. Louis, a long shot. Bauer stopped it. Peter Samkowski picks the puck up now for the Leafs. Up with Pulford, a long pass for Ellis. Over the line, he overskates it. Puck is shot back into the lead zone. That's Wayne Carlton after it, number 25, being watched by St. Marseille, number 9, for Samkowski, number 12, for Papham at center ice. Picard bumped into him. St. Marseille shot the flex over here to number 19, Terry Chris, checked by Ruff. For Papin, off his stick into the St. Louis zone. Plager stopped by Papin. Carlton shot it wide. Papin is shot again. Stanley moves up, and Carlton was chased, but he gets it to Papin for Samkowski, and it's Chris on St. Louis, getting it up to St. Marseille at center. Offside from inside the blue line over the checkered line at center. Toronto 4, St. Louis nothing. 16.58 remaining in the second period. Right? Well, Montreal has gone in front of Oakland 2 to nothing. Bill Beliveau, that line's really been on a tear, scoring from Gilles Trombley at 1.35 of the second period. And this afternoon, a final score, Minnesota edging Boston 5-4. to four. Parker McDonald scoring the winner. Johnny Busa getting goal number 20 for the Boston Bruins. That's certainly a surprise after Boston thrashed the Blackhawks. On the faceoff, here's Pappen going in over the St. Louis line to Stankowski for Pappen, and it was stopped by Al Iber, who feeds it ahead to number 14, Tim Ecclestone, to Ron Schock. Up it comes to number 15, Billy McCreary. He's over the line, trying to center it. It hits Stanley. Stanley brings it out, tips it to Carrollton. Carrollton over the blue line. Shot it near the front of the net. He's knocked down by Iber. Ecclestone is checked. Papin tried to get it in front. Iber covers up for St. Louis. Stankowski takes him to the board. Iber gets it loose to Shock. Shock comes in front of his own net, and then he put it in it. Armstrong is now on the ice. Gets a pass, takes his shot, and that hit. For 10, he's trying to get it into the clear. Horton has him covered. He gets it back in front for McCreary to Shock, and Armstrong got his stick in the way. Armstrong to Carroll. Going down the left wing. There's his long shot. Martin made the save. Key on the rebound. Tried to center it. Tipped it. Back of the net. Armstrong races in after it. Trying to center it. Does to Mahavlich. Mahavlich goes after it again. Sending it across the goal mouth. Here's Rupp getting set for a shot. Right in front of the net. And Arbor gets it out on the right side. A pass intended for shock. Stopped by Rupp. To Keon. Keon with Mahavlich. They're going in together. Keon tried to make the play to Mahavlich. It just failed. Mahavlich to Keon. Keon is knocked down by Al Iber and will have a face off. This game is coming to you from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. And Bland, uh, you and I are quite surprised the shots on goal in the first period. They least outshot St. Louis 16 to 11. The puck is back into the St. Louis zone from the face off. Stanley took a shot to flex into the corner. Picked up by uh, number 15, Bill McCreary. He goes back of his own goal there at the south end to the right. Keon goes against the board. Being watched there by Al Iber. The puck goes loose. Al Iber shot it around on the board. Not far enough. Horton gets his shot away right on. Seth Martin covered up with his stick and then went down to hold it. Toronto three, St. Louis nothing. 19.34 to play in the second period. Detroit leading Pittsburgh one to nothing on a goal by Allman from McGregor at 16-10 of the first period. That game being played at Pittsburgh tonight. 
Red Berenson at center ice, Jerry Melnick on the right wing, Don McKenney on the left, Barkley Plager and Jim Roberts on the defense. Keon for Armstrong, six handles by one and two to Mahavlic. Mahavlic goes over the blue line, trying to get around the defense, he does. Goes the hack of the net, right in front of Armstrong. Stanley moves up for the shot, here's Keon right in front of the net. The rebound, Armstrong, in the door! Where's Armstrong? Well, that was one of those seven iron shots with Seth Martin helpless after Keon had a good chance. We'll watch it on the playback. Here's Keon's opportunity. Martin comes down the block. The rebound comes out. You can see it going high in the air. And look at that golf shot by Armstrong through past three St. Louis Blues players, including Seth Martin, who has crawled there, number 30. 10, Armstrong. Assist number 14, Keon. And number 26, Stanley. Time, 49 seconds. On the face-off, the puck is shot back to Rupp. Rupp to Walton. Walton goes up the ice, over the blue line. Closing in with Ellis. Ellis took a shot from the right wing. It was stopped. Berenson feeds McKenney to Melnick. Walton stole the puck. Here he's got a chance. Took his shot and he missed the corner. Ellis moved up and shot it back of the net. Jim Roberts off the board, stopped by Marcel Cronovo, a shot right on. Barkley Plager over to John McKinney. Walton grabs him, but the puck comes out to Berenson. Berenson trying to get over the line. Ellis gets it up to Walton. Walton failed to get loose. Cleared in by Roberts into the lead zone, and Bauer stops it there for Marcel Cronovo. Back of Ellis, up to center ice. Bob Plager then to Berenson, stopped by Rupp to Ron Ellis. To Bob Pulford. He was given a bump by Bob Plager. It goes over on the right side to Melnick. He stopped by Marcel Pronovo to Pulford. Behind Walton. Bob Plager then moves up for St. Louis. Up over the line, stopped by Pulford. It hit the gate, it was open, and it deflects the Picard. No Picard of St. Louis, a long shot. Bauer stopped it. Peter Samkowski picks the puck up now for the lead. Up with Pulford, a long pass for Ellis. Over the line, he overskates it. Puck is shot back into the lead zone. That's Wayne Carlton after it, number 25, being watched by St. Marseille, number 9. For Samkowski, number 12. For Papham at center ice. Picard bumped into him. St. Marseille shot the flex over here to number 19. Terry Chris, checked by Rupp. For Papin, off his stick into the St. Louis zone. Plager stopped by Papin. Carlton shot it wide. Papin is shot again. Stanley moves up and Carlton was chased, but he gets it to Papin for Sankowski and it's Chris on St. Louis, getting it up to St. Marseille at center. Outside from inside the blue line over the checkered line at center. Toronto four, St. Louis nothing. 1658 remaining in the second period. Right? Well, Montreal has gone in front of Oakland two to nothing. Bill Beliveau, that line's really been on a tear, scoring from Gilles Trombley at 135 of the second period. <laughs> and this afternoon, a final score: Minnesota edging Boston five to four. Parker McDonald scoring the winner. Johnny Busick getting goal number 20 for the Boston Bruins. That's certainly a surprise after Boston crashed the Blackhawks. On the faceoff, here's Papin going in over the St. Louis line to Stankowski for Papin, and it was stopped by Al Iber, who feeds it ahead to number 14, Tim Ecclestone, to Ron Schock. Up it comes to number 15, Billy McCreary. He's over the line, trying to center it. It hits Stanley. Stanley brings it out, tips it to Carrollton. Carrollton over the blue line. Shot it near the front of the net. He's knocked down by Iber. Ecclestone is checked. Papin tried to get it in front. Iber covers up for St. Louis. Stankowski takes him to the board. Iber gets it loose to Shock. Shock comes in front of his own net. And then he put it in it. Armstrong is now on the ice. Gets a pass. Takes a shot. And that hit. For 10. He's trying to get it into the clear. Horton has him covered. He gets it back in front from McCreary to Shock. And Armstrong got his stick in the way. Armstrong to Carroll. Going down the left wing. There's his long shot. Martin made the save. Key on the rebound. Tried to center it. Tipped it. 
Back of the net, Armstrong races in after it. Trying to center it, does to Mahavlik. Mahavlik goes after it again, sending it across the goal mouth. Here's Ruck getting set for a shot. Right in front of the net, and Arbor gets it out on the right side. A pass intended for shock, stopped by Ruck. To Keon. Keon with Mahavlik. They're going in together. Keon tried to make the play to Mahavlik, but just failed. Mahavlik to Keon. Keon is knocked down by Al Iber and will have a face off. This game is coming to you from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. Here's Al Arbor, number three, the veteran defenseman with St. Louis going to the bench. Toronto four, St. Louis nothing. Buck is knocked down the ice between Cronovo and Rupp. Cronovo goes back for it. He's being watched there by Berenson, number seven of St. Louis. Pass up to Armstrong, back for Cronovo at center to Keon over the line. Left the drop pass. McKenney was there to pick it up for St. Louis. Gives it to Blackley Plager. Right on the rough stick. Rep wait, pass to the Keon. Keon is checked by Jim Roberts. Roberts coming out now for St. Louis. A pass on the right wing to Melnick. He's checked by Marcel Cronovo. Keon. A long pass from Mahavlik over the line. Getting in front with a shot, and Martin stops that. There's a score! Mahavlik from back of the net, score! Well, a good example of second effort on that one as Mahavlich missed on the initial drive, even though he made a good play to cut in on the Blues defense. Watch the first shot here. Warding one man off, Martin makes the save. Now he leaves a little chink in his armor here as we'll watch. It dribbles through off the right pad of Seth Martin and into the goal. Five to nothing. I think Brian on that play, as you mentioned, he left a little chink off to the side of the net. Number 14, Keon, and number three, Cronovo. The time, 5.28. 5.28, but he was trying to act as a defenseman as well and came out of the net. The puck is against the board. Horton picking it up. Pass for Ellis. He pulled over by Bob Flager. Walton races down the right wing, trying to get it to put the Pulford. He does. Wait right a goal. And Martin made the save on Pulford. Play is called in a penalty here to Bob Flager. Flager of St. Louis will get a penalty. We've learned that Larry Keenan, who was rammed into the boards in the first period by Peter Stemkowski, has been taken to hospital for observation. He will not be back tonight. Boy, he's been injury prone throughout his hockey career, and a fine hockey player he is, too, this Larry Keenan of St. Louis. Just looking at our St. Louis number five, Bob Flager. Two minutes for charging. The time, 5.58. That's quite a record for a fellow who is retiring. That's right. He only got nine last year, Bill. He's armed. We're talking about Armstrong, of course. He has 11 so far this year, so that old gentleman has found new life in the legs. Yes. 14.02 remaining in this second period. Toronto 5, St. Louis nothing. Out of town this afternoon, Philadelphia blanking Los Angeles 2 nothing. Here's Happen with a shot, and that's just off the target. Mike Walton behind the net. Left it there. Iver flipped it. Walton fell. Melnick can't get it out. Hillman took a shot. Pulford centering it for Walton, and it was just behind him. Here's Jim Pappen getting set into Mike Walton. Right to Ellis. Ellis let his shot go, and he missed the target. Walton scoops into the corner, and it's whacked by Melnick down the ice for St. Louis. Jim Pappen. Up to Ron Ellis. Ellis racing down the right wing, over the blue line. Passed it right in front. Pulford gets the loose puck to Walton the shot. Pulford flips it out in front to Pappen. Over to Hellman. Hellman into Walton. Right in front. Here's Ellis. Off the boards to Jim Pappen. Back to Ellis. He fakes his shot. Flips it over to Hellman. Hellman lets go with a drive, and that goes wide in the corner. It's slipped high and down the ice by Melnick, and I believe Seth Martin may be hurt. Hellman. Pappen to Walton. Over the line to Pappen. There's his hot drive, and that was just off the target. Hillman into Ellis. 
Back to Walt, right in front of the net, and Seth Martin again trying to act as a defenseman to cover up for himself. And then he put that one in too, Brian. Well, there's number 30, and boy, he's been under the gun tonight as the Leafs have been shooting from all directions. Chicago and New York fought to a 3-3 tie this afternoon. Bobby Hull getting his 28th goal of the year, and he needs two more now to hit the 400 goal circle. He got two assists to take over first place in the scoring race ahead of teammate Stan Makita. 43 points to 40, all ahead of Makita. 12-27 remaining in the second period. Toronto five, St. Louis nothing. Demkowski back to Pappen. There's his shot right in front. Right back in by St. Louis into the lead zone. Back for it is Byers, number 17, up for the second time in the game for the lead. It hooked loose. Hellman goes up with Carlton and Sankowski. Over to Carlton, over the line. There's his shot way wide. Sankowski is jumped. Played up to center ice. Flager is on the ice. Over the line for St. Louis. Right in front, and Horton hits it wide in the earth of the net. It's cleared out. Carlton races down the left wing. He gets over the line. There's the shot right on. The rebound's in front. Jim Roberts gets it, but it's picked off by Semkowski. Keeps it in. Roberts picks it off for St. Louis, turning it around on the board. Stanley gets his shot, and it's picked off then by number 11, Gary Saber in the center right for St. Louis. Over with Flager over the line. It's offside. This game is coming to you from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. Scotty Bowman back of that St. Louis bench he's a lot younger than the fellas he's, he's talking to 32 year old Scotty Bowman the coach of the Blues Toronto 5 St. Louis nothing 11.23 left in this second period Rupp fails to get the puck out a chance for Bill McCreary of St. Louis centered it in front there's Shaka drive another shot Bauer has it underneath him and holds it out well, that's the closest the Blues have come tonight to scoring a goal. Leafs having a little trouble clearing here. Number 10 moves in. That's Ron Schock, and Bauer's able to crawl on his back, and uh, he looked behind him for an instant to see if the puck may have slipped through. That's Ron Schock, number 10 at center ice. Tim Ecclestone on the right wing, number 14, and 15 is Bill McCreary. The shot goes wide of the leaf net. Stanley falls. Horton for Armstrong. Back to Horton. Horton then checks his man, and Armstrong just gets rid of it to center right where Sakari picks it up for St. Louis. Back to McCreary, stopped by Armstrong, and he shot it by Mahavlich. Sakari then gives it to Bob Plager. Goes back into the lead zone, and Horton up to Armstrong for Keon. Too far, Picard to Bob Plager. Bob Plager to the leaf line and over with Ecclestone. The shot is wide, and Armstrong gets it. Armstrong covered by McCreary to Shock. Shock centered it and hit Keon, and here comes Mahavlich with a pass for Keon. Too far, it went by Picard. Picard will get there first, though, and he touches it, and that is icing called against the Toronto Maple Leafs. 10-20 remaining in the second period. Toronto 5, St. Louis, nothing. Number 14 for St. Louis is uh, young Tim Eccleston, only 20 years old and uh, a great deal of potential. He was a star with that Kitchener Junior Club of last year, second high point man on that club. Comes from a sports-minded family, and the Blues are certainly to ha happy to have him in the lineup. Seth Martin is uh, coming to the St. Louis bench now. Bill, you uh, mentioned a moment or two ago that you suspected he may, or he may have been injured slightly. We'll wait and see what happens here. Wally Harris is the referee tonight. Bobby Frampton and Neil Armstrong, the linesman. And I Seth thought he Martin. was, uh, excuse me, Brian, I thought he was, they banged into him in that one pileup in front of the uh, St. Louis net, and it was very slow getting up. Of course, he's been peppered all night. Notice he wears a golf club on uh, that hand underneath his uh, catching mitt. Not unlike uh, Orland Curtinback of the New York Rangers, who wears golf gloves. Now, uh, with Glenn Hall, absent because of the death of his father, Don Kelly, wearing number one. 
will take over in goal for Seth Martin, who has retired behind the St. Louis bench. Now in goal for St. Louis and wearing number one, Don Cayley. That will be a warm-up for him. At the south end to our right, Don Cayley playing in goal for Seth Martin, who has retired now to the St. Louis dressing room. And it appeared when he left the ice, Brian, that he was complaining about uh, pain on his right leg. So he may have been caught with a shot as well in the five. Well, this uh, young Don Cayley felt they, they really, really made a steal when they drafted uh, him from Pittsburgh and Detroit at the June draft meeting in Montreal. He played in 20 games with uh, Pittsburgh in his first year as a pro. And he was the most valuable player on his Weyburn Red Wings of the Saskatchewan Junior League. Also voted the league's all-star club out there. Don Cayley now playing goal for the St. Louis Blues. And his idol as a goaltender was Terry Sawchuk. Cayley uses a similar type catching mitt. And he has a special stick patented by Sawchuk. Thinks of himself as a stand-up goaltender. And they say he attaches a thick wad of tape to his hockey stick bill to serve as a warning device so that he won't crouch too low. See if we can catch that there. I'm not sure that he has that attached tonight. He's 21 years old. Makes his home now in Dauphin, Manitoba. I was just going to mention to you that he had all the mannerisms of uh, Terry Sancho. Before you mentioned that that was his idol. You notice the way he crouches. It's almost the same. Never leaves his feet. I hope that doesn't mean he has a bad back. <laughs> like Sawchuck. He has that crouch. They're talking to him down at the uh, in net now. Well, if he this plays half as well, Bill, he should be able to find a regular spot in this league before long. Right, and this is not an envious position to be in, coming in cold when the least of them really putting on the pressure. 10.20 remaining in the second period. Toronto 5, St. Louis nothing. We're all set to go in the lead zone to the left. On the faceoff, it's Marcel Cronovo for Ron Ellis, getting it up to center ice. Tipped back by Tim Ecclestone. Puck picked off by Rupp for Ellis. Over the line, Ellis takes his shot and a nice save by Kaylee on that drive. Back up for Al Arbor. Iber over the line, pulls away from Cronovo, centered it for shot, he hit the goal post. He hit the goal post, it's shot down the ice, Walton racing after it. Gets a hold of the puck, lets his shot go, and he missed the corner. Hooford, shooting the puck into the corner. Back of the net, Kaylee leaves it there for, for 10, two shots. Knocked back to Arbor. Up at center right. Stopped by Pronovo. Arbor gets it again. Up to McCreary. Over the line for McCreary. Shot it back of the net. Cleared out in front. Walton deflects it out over the blue line. Arbor. Over here to Forte. Up for McCreary. Deflected by Rupp into the penalty box. Well, here's that play again with Al Arbor making a nice move at the lead blue line. Ron Schock is the player to watch as Arbor gets a nice pass over. This is right off the goal post in behind Bauer, but the puck stays out. We've learned that uh, Seth Martin has pulled a groin muscle and uh, had difficulty in moving, though. Okay, Brian, and from the faceoff, it's a backhand by Berenson. Picked off by Carlton. He just shoots it out to center right. Stopped there by number eight. Barkley Plager, right on to Horton, six for Stemkowski, for Pappen, up to Melnick of St. Louis to Berenson, Carlton sticks with him, Stanley then a long pass, Barkley Plager over on the right side to Melnick for Berenson, back to Melnick, Berenson gets on side as Melnick gets his shot away, McKinney, getting it in front to Melnick, back to the blue line to Robert. His shot is wide. Bauer scoops it behind the goal. They're trying to center it, and Semkowski comes back. Semkowski with Carlton. Over the line for Carlton. Roberts covered him, and it was knocked out over the blue line. 
Sankowski to Pappen for Carlton. Checked by the Blues. They get it over the line. Melnick with Berenson and Don McKenney, but it's offside. This game is coming to you from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. Oh, there's that new hat that M. Lack got from his wife for Christmas. Toronto 5, St. Louis nothing, 7.52 remaining in the second period. Marcel Pronovo around on the board, stopped by Picard, there's his shot. Marcel Pronovo knocked it down, can't get it out, there he Chris covers him. Picard moves up, giving a shove. Standard it, it's deflected into the corner. Puck goes blues, rough. For Mahavlitz and Keon, Picard is there, Mahavlitz tried to get loose. St. Marseille shoots it in for St. Louis into the leap zone, and it's Rain Rupp. Out he goes with a long pass to Keon, and he and Mahavlitz overskated. Marseille covered by Armstrong, who steals the puck. Couldn't make a play of it to Keon. It goes back at center. Marcel Pronovo then for Rupp. Over the line. That's by Bob Plager. Here he comes up with a pass on the right side. Over the line for Sabrin, a shot. That ends up back of the net. Up to Armstrong. Armstrong going after it with the card. A long pass to Mohamed and he couldn't control it. Puck is loose. Mohamed for Keon. The card shoots it down the ice. It's right on the net. Rupp for Ellis. He couldn't control it. Here's Bob Plager over the line on the swing to Chris, and it was behind it. Picked off by Shock, and then the shot goes wide. From the right side, number 14, Tim Ecclestone couldn't get a drive, and it goes back to center right. For 10 for Shock, number 10. 606 for Mitty in the second period. Here's Bob Plager with a long pass on the right wing for Ecclestone. Stopped by Fulford, Stanley. Mike Walton. Walton turning. Up for Pulford. Horton gets it out. Horton gets on the ice. Echo Stone gets it back to the blue line. Horton moving up again. Gets away from Walton. Takes a long shot. Bauer. Knocking into the corner. Pulford then to Walton. Back for Pulford. Pulford over the line, there's his shot, shot by Avery, Pulford got it again, rolled it in front, Ellis couldn't get a shot. Goes to the board, and play is called, 516, as we have a little bit of an explosion, right? Uh, somebody <laughs> started their New Year's celebrating a little early, I think, Bill. There's that chapeau we were talking about, Mrs. Imlach gave her husband for Christmas, he heard it too. <laughs> and uh, I saw Mrs. Zimlag after the game Wednesday after the Canadians tied it up in the dying minutes, and she said, I was so afraid he was going to throw that hat away. But uh, just tell him it was a tie, and, of course, if they'd lost, he probably wouldn't be wearing it tonight. He'll wear it until they do lose, at least. I think it's all off the chair. <laughs> Toronto 5, St. Louis nothing. 5-16 remaining in the second period. Here's a chance for Pappen a shot. Nice catch by Don Taylor. Berenson with Don McKenney. Jerry Melnick. Dankowski back to pass and intercepted by Berenson. Berenson going over the line with Melnick. Melnick gets set for the shot and it's deflected by Stanley up into the end blues and knocked back down into the red seat. Detroit leading Pittsburgh two to nothing. Smith has scored the second Red Wing goal. Allman the first. Hampson from Crashley assisting on Smith's goal at 8:32 of the second period. Barrington, John McKenney, Gary Melnick, Ray Fortan, and Al Iber for St. Louis. Here's a shot. Horton knocked it down. Here's a rebound. A drive by Fortan. And it's stopped by Bauer. St. Louis had Pittsburgh 2-1 to one last night in St. Louis. So they could be a little tired here today. In fact, Scotty Bowman almost didn't get to the game because of a missed plane connection. 
Barkley Plager scored the winning goal last night, and uh, Seth Martin, believe it or not, got an assist on the goal. Uh, his first, uh, first for Barkley Plager in the NHL. Jerry Melnick got the winner. From the faceoff, Armstrong to Mahavlich. Mahavlich down to center right. Keon Trailing, he's over the line. Mahavlich stops. Back to Marcel Pronovo, right in front to Armstrong, and shot to Havlicek, and score! Well, if Mahavlich had missed that one, he would have had to hide his head. Here he is starting the play. You'll see him stop here, deep in the corner, make a very sharp stop, and feed the puck back. Armstrong will set up in front of the St. Louis goal. And Mahovlich will come in in the event of a rebound or a play. And luckily he does, because there it is, right on his stick in the empty net in front of him. Assist number 10, Armstrong, and number 3, Pronovo. The time, 15-19. 15-19, Mahovlich from Armstrong and Pronovo. Bauer for Mahovlich to Keon. Here's a shot by Roberts. Net high. Over the glass. 422 remaining in the second period. Toronto six. St. Louis nothing. Well, Mahovlich has certainly made a stirring comeback from an early season illness that put him in hospital. His eighth and ninth goals coming consecutively here in the second period. Stirring pass to center right. Goes back to the defense. Barkley Plager to Jim Roberts. Back by Keon to Mahovlich to Rupp for Keon off his skate. Barkley Plager passed Armstrong to Don McKenney to Red Berenson. Over the line, takes his shot. Bauer juggles it and holds it for a faceoff. The referee tonight is Wally Harris, number 11. The line's been a Neil Armstrong, number 8. Bob Frampton, number 17. Four minutes exactly remaining to play in the second period. Toronto leading St. Louis. Six nothing. The puck is cleared out over the blue line. Roberts waits for his teammates to get on side, and the Blues shoot the puck back into the leaf zone. Armstrong for Keon to Marcel Pronovo. A long pass for Frank Mahovlich. Jim Roberts shoots it out. Marcel Pronovo is there off the board. He has it again. Shoots it into the St. Louis zone. Back of the net. Steered around on the wing, kept in by Stanley, deflected by Keon. It's bouncing. Armstrong gets his shot. Kaylee catches it and holds on to it. This game is coming to you from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. 3.22 left in this second period. Toronto 6, St. Louis nothing. Walton, Fulford, and Ellis. St. Marseille. Sabrin and Chris. Here's back to Horton. Takes the shot. There it goes. And Kaylee has it underneath him. There it is again. Tim Horton with the puck. Evading one check. There's that slap shot. On the faceoff, Ellis moved up. He was checked. Down the ice comes Sabrin. Over to Crisp. Over the blue line. Back to Sabrin. Sabrin waits too long. Goes to the board. Wolford with him, Terry Chris is trying to center, and they all jam there, and there's no further play. St. Marseille at center right, Terry Chris on the left wing, Jerry Sabrin on the right. Picard is playing on the defense with Bob Plager. Buck along the board, shot behind the net, Terry Chris trying to center it for St. Louis. Jammed by Horton. Mike Walton shot it around on the boards for Pulford. Picard goes back. Turns at his own blue line, deflected by Ellis by Horton in his own territory. Stanley back for it. Stanley up for Mike Walton and just fill the class. Here's a chance for Ellis, and it's offside. Ellis came down this right wing, but he had crossed the checkered line ahead of the puck and therefore he put himself off that. Well, St. Louis was in the National Hockey League for one season in 1934-35. The Ottawa franchise was transferred there and uh, most of the Ottawa players went along including Bill Cowley and Sid Howe and Carl Voss and several others. The team nickname was the St. Louis Eagles. 
Romney face off. Shot. Bauer stopped it. Chris couldn't get the rebound. It was too high. Ellis for Walton. McCard then gives it to St. Marseille. Over the line. Stanley got a piece of him. St. Marseille shot it way wide of the leaf net. Horton trying to get it up to Walton. Here's a chance for Bob Plager. Shot by Adlin. And Bauer missed it. Then St. Marseille couldn't get a shot as Walton takes the puck away. Long pass for Pulper. Going in with Ellis. He's in the clear. Let it in go. He sees. And a great save by Kaylee on Ellis, who is right in the wall. The card shoots the puck down into the lead zone. Ellis back for it. To Horton. Up for Ellis. Ahead for Walt. Walton over the line. Right for Pulper. He just failed to reach it. Walton deflects the puck. St. Marseille tried to get away. Gets two tries at it. Pulford had him covered, but he shoots the puck into the lead zone. 125 remaining in the second period. 6 0 Toronto. A pass for Kappen stopped by Chuck. Here's McCreary. Check. Kappen comes down the right wing at center. Over the blue line. A pass right in front for Stankowski, and it's Billy McCreary. Marshley stopped. They get out on the right side. Coming up over the line. Ecclestone knocked down. There's going to be a penalty there for Cooking. Tim Horton, number seven, gets the gate. Well, Horton sideswiped young Ecclestone and uh, right at the Leafs blue line, so he'll be out for the next two minutes. That's the uh, sixth penalty of the game. Two minutes for Cooking. Time 1858. 1858, the time of the penalty. And talking about that old St. Louis team in 34 35, Bill, they wanted to buy Busher Jackson from uh, Connie Smythe at the time. There's the out of town scoreboard Detroit 3, Pittsburgh nothing. Mr. Smythe said, Sure, I'll sell them. How much is the price? They said, $100,000. They said, We'll call you back, but they never did. 102 remaining in this. Second period, Armstrong shoots the puck down the ice. Jerry Melnick's going back for it. Tim Ecclestone is up there with Don McKinney. Ray Fortan. Red Berenson. So they're using four forwards and one defenseman. Tim Ecclestone coming to center ice. Flips it. Stopped by Rupp. Ecclestone broke his stick. It goes over out to Melnick. Back to Fortan. Back to Melnick at center ice. Flips it over the line. Keon intercepts and gets it out. Ecclestone brings in offside. Don McKinney was inside the blue line and so was Melnick. 30 seconds left in this second period. Toronto 6, St. Louis nothing. Walton scored twice in the first period and Pappen got the other. Leafs led 3 nothing at the end of the first period. And then Armstrong scored at just 49 seconds of the second period and Mahovlich has added two more. And Toronto are leading 6 nothing over St. Louis. 30 seconds remaining in this second period. Melnick gets it over to Fortan. Fortan comes up to the leaf line. A long shot. The rebound to Bauer. Bauer to Murray Oliver. Oliver falls. Marcel Cronovo for Pulfer. It goes down into the St. Louis zone. Fortan back for it. Fortan back of the leaf net. Waits for his teammates to get back. Red Berenson with them. There's the pass for Melnick. Melnick with Berenson and hit Berenson on the skate. Goes into the corner. Pulford is there. There goes the bell. And the second period is over. And Horton has 58 seconds to serve in his penalty to start the final period. From Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto, Hockey Night in Canada. Games early in the year before George Buck Boucher replaced Eddie Girard as coach. And later on, Busher Jackson came into St. Louis and scored four goals in one period against the Eagles. That's a record that's been equaled by Max Bentley in 43, but never surpassed, although two Leafs players tonight have had two goals in a single period. From the faceoff, the Leafs are shorthanded. Horton has 54 seconds left in his penalty. St. Louis have a man advantage, six men to five. And that's number 20, Ray Fortan, giving it to Al Arbor. Al Iber at center, shot the puck over the leaf line, it goes to the corner. Murray Oliver, number 11, off the boards, but not out. Fortin gets his shot, it's right in front of the net, and Bauer made the save, another shot, and it goes wide. A 
Puck is still in the leaf zone. Here's a chance for Ivor going right in the lone. A shot, and Bauer stopped that. Another shot. Bauer knocks it down, and Oliver shoots it down the ice. 13 seconds left in the penalty to Tim Horton. Toronto 6, St. Louis nothing. It goes up to Rupp. To Marcel Pronovo. Over to Armstrong. With Keon offside. Three Hello. seconds left for Tim Horton. Blue's really coming close to getting one behind Bauer there. Uh, Sabaran, Fortin, St. Marseille all getting in front. St. Marseille had a remarkable 118 points in the inter- National Hockey League last year with Port Huron. The Blues uh, discovered him hiding in the bushes, so to speak, and he's uh, played extremely well for them in the games played today. All set to go. At center ice is Berenson. Melnick on the right wing. John McKenney on the left. That's Jimmy Roberts playing on the defense along with Barkley Plager. Puck is up at center ice to Don McKenney, and Keon is there. A pass for Mahavlis. The Hobley took a long shot. The rebound. Armstrong came after it. It's behind the net. Armstrong trying to center it. Mahavlich does. Roberts checked by Armstrong. Keon gets a hold of it. Mahavlich is in front. Keon tried to get it back. And Don McKinney comes up with Berenson, who didn't see the pass. Stanley chops at it. Melnick took a shot. Horton deflects it over to Armstrong. Up to Keon. Keon stops to Mahavlich and he shot it wide. Armstrong took a shot that was stopped in front of the net. Armstrong gets a hold of it. It goes over Mahavlich's stick. Back to Horton. Horton lets a shot go and he hit the side of the net. Armstrong is jammed by Roberts, but he fights for the loose puck. It's finally held there by Berenson. 17.57 left in the game. Toronto 6, St. Louis nothing. Red Berenson wearing the helmet, wearing number seven, and Jimmy Roberts skating off, both former Montreal Canadiens. Berenson was with the New York Rangers before going to St. Louis. Shock, McCreary at Ecclestone on the forward line now for St. Louis. Picard and Bob Plager on the defense. Walton with Pulford and Ellis. Walton is given a shove by Bob Plager. Picard around the boards for Ecclestone. It goes out over the blue line, stopped by Rupp. They had to Pulford. Pulford was going the wrong way. Pulford tries again off the boards. McCreary shot it into the leaf zone, and it's Marcel Pronable going back. He clears it down the ice. Pulford goes after it into the St. Louis zone. Bob Plager fell. Pulford getting it back to Rupp. Here's the shot. And a nice save there by Kaylee. It comes back again to Pronable, a shot. Right in front, and it's grabbed there by Don Taylor. Well, this young fella has played well. He's had some hot drives to stop, and boy, you're you're right when he you say he looks like Sawchuck out there to a degree. It's a little early to give him that label yet, a second Terry Sawchuck, but we'll keep watching him. Ready to go, Walton. Got by Ecclestone. Ecclestone with McCreary and takes the pass at center. Takes the shot, goes over the line, lets it go wide. It's centered in front, and Pulford has it. A long pass for Ron Ellis. Ron Ellis going after it. Just Taylor reaches. McCreary tips it back to center. Pulford has to skate back into his own zone. Over for Ellis. For Rupp. Knocking it to center. Bob Plager then to Chris. Chris shoots it in. Stopped by Pappen. Kaplan's pass went right on Ecclestone's stick. He's leaving the ice. St. Marseille is on the forward line now at center ice for the St. Louis Blues. Sabrin is on the right side. Crisp on the left. Still in the lead zone. Marcel Pronovo giving it back to Rupp for Stemkowski. Up to Jim Kaplan. Stemkowski is knocked into the boards by Picard. There's going to be a penalty there. Kemkowski knew he was hit. Well, it was right in front of the Leaf bench, and I imagine Picard was just trying to assist Kemkowski over the boards. It looked that way anyway. He averages about 150 minutes in penalties each season. He has 69 so far this year, not counting tonight. St. Louis penalty to number four, Picard. Two minutes for boarding. The time, 3.45. 
3.45 is the time of the boarding penalty to Noel Picard, his second penalty of the night. Mike Byers is out there for the third time in the game, playing on the right wing with Semkowski at center. Carrollton on the left wing, Hillman and Pappen. Four forwards, one defenseman. They have the man advantage. Semkowski's knocked down by Arbor. Portan clears it out. Hillman then feeds it ahead to Semkowski for Wayne Carrollton. Carrollton lets the shot go, and he hits the goal post. Goes back up the center ice. Pappen to Hillman. Over the line, Carlton for Stamkowski. Into the corner. He's given a bump. Al Iberg lifts a high one down the ice. Happen going back for it. Giving it to Hillman. Back for Carlton. Knocking it behind the net. Twist in the corner. Gets away from Pappen. Gets his skate on it. Kicks it loose to Stamkowski. Stankowski with Pappen. Hires on the right. Up and over the line they come offside. Wayne Carlton. This game is coming to you from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. One minute and one second remaining in the penalty to Noel Picard. Leafs have a man advantage, six men to five. Hillman to Pappen. Keon Armstrong and Mahovlich out there. Al Iber shot it over to Shock. Shock finds an opening, shooting it down the ice. The stone goes after it. Hillman is there first to Keon. Back for Hillman. Up to Pappen. A long pass for Mahovlich. Mahovlich centers it back to Hillman. To Keon. In the Mahovlich. Gets it back to Hillman. Over to Pappen, there goes the shot, it scores! Mahovlich deflected Pappen, shot into the net. Well, Mahovlich gets up into double, double figures, his 10th goal of the year on a deflection. There's the shot by Pappen, Mahovlich right to the side of the net. He has the stick there, as you see. Before Arbor can take him out of the play, Mahovlich has the buck in behind young Don Cayley. And it's 7-0, Toronto. Three in a row by Frank Mahavlitz, the hat trick, and it's seven nothing. Card number 27, Mahavlitz. This number 18, Patton, and number two, Hillman. The time 5:24. 5:24 is the time as Horton tries to get it out of the leaf zone. Stopped by Berenson. Stanley then to Keon. He's checked by Berenson. Horton then steals the puck and comes down the ice with Mahovlich on the right. Horton back to Mahovlich. He waits. Passes it for Armstrong, and Armstrong just failed to get a shot. Armstrong is checked. Flipped up by Barkley Plager down the ice, and Stanley's back there for it. Ahead to Armstrong. Armstrong gets the puck. Shot it over the line. Jim Roberts gets it out. And Stanley shoots the puck into the St. Louis zone. And the Leafs make a change. Walton with Ellis and Pulford. Gary Melnick now for St. Louis. Shot it in. Berenson went after it. Ellis covers up against the boards and there's no further play. 13-31. Remaining in the hockey game. Toronto 7, St. Louis nothing. So Walton scored the first two goals of the game. Then Papman. Followed by Armstrong, and then three in a row by Frank Mahovlich. Eight, nine, and ten of the season. Hopefully. Up to Ellis. Ellis over the blue line, cutting to the right side. Let his shot go. Keeley made the save. Straight ahead to Parr for Berenson, and Stanley has it. Goes over to the right wing where Horton picks it off. He passed it to Berenson, who lost it to Ellis with Walton. They're closing in to Pulford. A shot was right on. Ellis shoots. Oh, he hit the crossbar. Ellis hit the top crossbar as he flipped it over top of Keeley. Pulford. Here's Stanley. Up to Walton. For Ellis. Ellis stops. Into Pulford. Back to Ellis. Right in on goal. And a shot was stopped by Roberts. It's cut in front. Up to Don McKinney. He just flicks it into the leaf zone, and it's tapping back for it. 
St. Marseille covered Papin. Pulford hit Horton. Here's a pass in front of the net. St. Marseille tried to flick it in, and Papin feeds Walton. Walton down the ice, over the line with Papin, closing in. There's the backhand, way wide. Comes out over the blue line on the shot. Papin gets it at the blue line, goes all the way back to his own, left it there. Rupp gets it. He shot it. Cleared on the wing. Gary Sablin getting in front of the defense. A shot. Howard juggled it. The puck goes loose. Rupp gets a hold of it. Shoots it out to Papin ahead to Stamkowski. Stamkowski took a shot. He was knocked into the board. The puck goes loose to Papin. He fanned on it. Carlton centered it. And it's picked up there. Tabrin missed the check from Samkowski. Picard falls. Flicks it over to Bob Plager. Samkowski covers him and falls. And ends up on the puck. 11.30 left in the hockey game. And this game is coming to you from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. Bob Plager. To St. Marseille. He fanned on a pass. Rupp. Trying to control it, gets it over the line. Stamkowski steals it. Pass for Papin, and it was behind him. Noel Picard coming up for St. Louis. The pass for Terry Chris is going the length of the ice. Marcel Tonable goes back. Marseille covered him, but he touched it in time, and it's icing called against the Blues. There's that young fellow we were talking about, Frank St. Marseille. Well, he's in his mid 20s, actually. Four goals and four assists for eight points this year. Once again, Keon, Mahovlich, and Armstrong come out. They've had a lot of ice time tonight. Mahovlich now with 287 career goals, so he should hit the 300 mark sometime this season. And the faceoff. Back of the net for for 10. Giving it to Shock. Shock is number 10. Back to Al Iber. Iber coming over the blue line to center. Mahovlich fell. Ecclestone fell with him up on his skates again. Iber shoots the puck into the leaf zone, and Frank Mahovlich is back for it. Mahovlich, too far for Armstrong. 410 gives it to Iber. Iber stopped by to shock, stopped by Stanley, but it was offside. Billy McCreary went in on the left wing, number 15 of St. Louis. And I imagine the unhappiest man in hockey today is Jack Kent Cook. After opening the new forum, the palatial forum in Los Angeles, Philadelphia came in and ruined it all with that 2 nothing shutout over the Los Angeles Kings. 4-10, a long shot. Bauer, the rebound to Stanley, and he nearly handed it, handed it to McCreary of St. Louis. Here's a pass in front. Mahomlitz gets a hold of it. Mahomlitz to Horton. Horton is checked. Kept in by McCreary. There's the shot, and it's going up into the end blues at the south end. 10-19 left in the game. Toronto 7, St. Louis nothing. President Clarence Campbell was out for the opening in Los Angeles today, along with uh, Lauren Green, Jerry Lewis, Jack Lemon, Jimmy Durante. Uh, CBS tried out some hockey television techniques that they learned from the producers of Hockey Night in Canada, and understand Jack Kent Cook has a talking scoreboard, though, but I know one thing, it better not talk while he's trying to get the stage. Couldn't say anything if it was too much. Huck is in the leaf zone, shot in offside as Shock was slow coming out. Detroit leading Pittsburgh now 4-1 to one as Hampson has scored from Jarrett at 4.30 of the third period. 10-11 remaining in this hockey game. 7-0 Toronto. Hillman is coming out to replace Rupp. Walton, Pulford, and Ellis. Huck is shot to the far wing. 4-10, a long shot. Hillman stepped into 4-10. The rebound to Marcel Pronovo up to Pulford. Two Blues players fell together. Ellis over the line with Walton to take the pass. Right in front of the net. Pulford made a fuck of a little skate. Wide of the net, a three-way passing play. Hillman couldn't keep it in. Shot goes down the ice. One man back. It's Marcel Pronovo. There's the shot. It bounced high, and it went over top of the net. And Bauer didn't even see where it had gone. Donovo off the boards, but not out. Iber keeps it in. Getting another try with a backhand to Shock. Shock tried to center it. Here's Ecclestone to drive right in front, and Bauer hits the referee, play his goal. Ouch. Boy, that must hurt. Hope he had the pad there. Here's the play again with 
Bauer. Watch now as the puck will sail high on the air off this shot by Ron Schock. There it goes. Bauer doesn't quite know what happened to it or where it went. He looks up, doesn't see it. It comes down and off the back of the net. Oliver has taken over at center. Mahavlich has been put out on the left wing again. He's playing with Byers on the right side. A pass for Murray Oliver. Gets it into the St. Louis zone. Around on the boards for Melnick. Stopped by Rupp, who wrapped it into the corner again. Back forward is Barkley Plager. Oliver trying to get a hold of it. And back come the St. Louis Blues, led by Jim Roberts, number six. A long shot into the corner. Byers gets the rebound, shot it around to Mahavlich. Back for Horton. McKinney was all tied up. And Mahavlich, a long pass up to Oliver. Oliver over the line, a pass for Byers. Byers centered it in front, and it's cleared out to center ice. Melnick tried to get loose. Oliver tried to feed Mahavlich. Goes over to McKinney, stopped by Horton. Robert stays out on the ice. Picard was going to come out. Horton turns. He's checked by Berenson. Rupp gets a hold of it. To Oliver. Oliver's checked then by Melnick, who shoots it back into the leaf zone. Horton to Pappen. Pappen is checked. Here's a chance for Berenson. The three of them are going in with Chris. The shot, and Bauer stopped that. Melnick is shot, and Bauer stopped that one. Rupp. Back in the end of the corner to Horton. Pappen deflects it out over the blue line. Bob Plager. To Chris, number 19, back in his own zone to Picard. Stabron is out there. Picard shot, hit Papin on the ankle. Horton shoots it to the blue line and out. Chris has it at center ice. Over to Picard. Picard takes a long drive off the board. Bauer scooping it to Stamkowski. To Jim Papin. Tappen races down the ice at center, over the line. Stemkowski follows, right in front, and Tappen missed it. It's Carlton for Papham. Closing in, Picard had him covered. Carlton then took a shot to Papham, and his backhand was wide. Carlton to Hillman, he shot it wide. Kaylee giving it to Picard. Picard off the board, stopped by Marcel Provo to Papham. Bearing it back into the corner. And over the board comes George Armstrong. Semkowski and Bob Plager bump together. Now it's Sabrin down the right wing for St. Louis. Lost possession of it. Gets it again. At center. To the leaf line and over. Offside. St. Marseille on the left wing. This is, game is coming to you from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. Toronto 7, St. Louis nothing, 6.23 remaining in the game. John Bellavo has a couple of points tonight. He has a career total of 969 now. And they face off, Hillman to Kia to, uh, to Armstrong over for Mahavlich. Mahavlich stops. Try to pass, shot breaks up, tries to race down the ice. Mahavlich gets in front of him and took it away from him. To Armstrong. Over to Keon. Keon goes over the line, takes a shot. Mahavlich cruising in. Keon stops again with it. Took a shot. Armstrong a backhand. That just missed the target. Hillman moves up to Mahavlich. Mahavlich turns. There's the shot, and he shot it five feet wide. Hillman tried to set up Mahavlich. Armstrong fell, and down the ice comes number 14. Ken Ecclestone, and he stopped. Ecclestone, a backhand, right under Marcel Pronovo's stick. To Armstrong. Armstrong, checked by McCurry. Ecclestone again. A pass for Shock, broken up by Marcel Pronovo. Now it's Al Iber of St. Louis. Shot it into the lead zone. Bauer to Marcel Pronovo. Ahead to Hillman, up to Ellis. Too far for Walton. 
Pulford races after it, tipped it behind the net. Arbor fell, Pulford fell too, and Berenson gives it to Don McKinney. To Berenson. Shot it over the line, Horton covers up. Dropped in to Pulford. To Walt. Walton over the line, takes his shot, Ellis the rebound, he scores! And it's eight to nothing as Walton takes that pass. He's got Ellis on the right side. There's the shot. Now watch carefully as the rebound. Haley has trouble clearing it. And Ellis, digging in there quickly, comes in to steal it off his stick and just park it into the net behind young Don Kaley. Toronto goals, number 15 for Ron eight, Ellis. Ellis. Assist number 16, Walton, and number 20, Pulford. The time, 15-22. 15-22, Toronto leads 8-0. Here's a chance for the back case. Score! Red Berenson scores for St. Louis. Well, the Leafs relaxed a little bit after that goal by Ellis. A few seconds later, there's the backhand by Berenson that catches the corner and catches the Leafs defenseman napping. Fred Berenson scoring for the St. Louis Blues. Number seven, his fourth goal of the year. And he didn't score a goal for New York last year, although he was injured most of the season. Number seven, Berenson. Assist number 16, Melman. The time, 15-39. 15-39 as Tankowski steps into number eight, Barkley Plager. And there's a penalty to Stemkowski. His second of the night. Four minutes and 11 seconds Toronto remaining in the game. Number 12, Stemkowski. Two minutes for tripping. Time, 15.49. 15.49, Murray Oliver out there with Rupp, Hellman, and Marcel Cronaval. Haley stops the puck back of the St. Louis net, and that's Bob Plager, at least uh, Barkley Plager, number eight. Don McKenney, Red Berenson, Barry Melnick, and Jim Roberts. It goes into the elite zone. There's a shot. That was just grazed off the shoulder of Johnny Bauer. That may have caught him on the neck. Lining up again, St. Louis have the odd man, six men to five. Here's back to Barkley Plager, Don McKinney. McKinney centering it. Harrison's shot was deflected out to center ice, off the leg. Jim Roberts, ahead to Melnick for Berenson. Gets around Marcel Cronaville. There's his shot, Bauer juggled it, holds on to it, and there's no further play. Three minutes and 25 seconds remaining in the game. Toronto 8, St. Louis 1. Here's that shot by uh, Berenson. He has a teammate handy for a pass, but he elects to shoot, having scored just moments earlier on a backhander. Bauer juggles it, but uh, scoops up the rebound and clears it out of trouble as Berenson moves in looking for a rebound. There's Berenson going to the St. Louis bench. He was an All-American uh, hockey player in college days. Set to go. St. Marseille at center ice. Sabrin and Crisp on the wings. There's a backhand that goes to the corner. Bounces high. Stanley lost it. Goes to Crisp. Crisp gets it back to the blue line. There's a shot, and that was deflected wide. Stanley then for Keon. Keon to Horton. Horton overscapes the puck. Crisp to St. Marseille. Keon covers him. They all pile in. The puck comes loose. St. Marseille covered Armstrong. Here's a shot. Horton blocked it. Back to Picard. There's his shot, and that one went up into the end blue. And we have 2.45 left. 
in the game. Toronto eight, St. Louis one. Talking about Beliveau scoring those 969 points, Bill. That's a record for a Montreal player. The Rocket had 965. And of course, Gordie Howe is the all time NHL leader with 1,533 points going into the night's game. He had 665 of those were goals. The Rocket had 544 goals when he retired. 34 seconds left in the penalty to Stenkowski as the puck goes out over the blue line. The card. Over on the wing, stopped by Marcel Pronovo, who cleared it down into the St. Louis zone. Picard with it again. Checked by Puffert. Puffert to Rupp. Over to Murray Oliver. Murray Oliver over the line. Trying to go around the defense. Gets his backhand. Keeley made the save. The Blues made the front of the net. Another shot by Oliver, and that was wide. Dabrin coming out now for St. Louis. Up to his own blue line to center. To the leaf line, stopped by Rupp. Stankowski is on the ice. Oliver over the line with Pulford. Back to Pulford for Stankowski. Stankowski hit the back of the net. San Marseille is watched by Pulford. Cleared it around on this side. Tipped down by St. Marseille and Marcel Cronovo's there again. He gets it to Pulford. Up for Walton. Walton takes the shot, then lets one go off Arbor's ankle. Tamkowski went after it. Brought down the ice now by Bob Plager. Tried to go around Rupp. Poked off to the wing. St. Marseille pulls away from Ellis. Tried to get out in front. Hit Marcel Pronovo. Walton shot it around. McCreary stops it for St. Louis. He comes to Pulford. Up for Walton. One man back. Walton getting ready to go, and he shot wide. Hyber up to center. Covered by Marcel Pronovo. Less than a minute to go in the game. Walton is checked. Rupp feeds Marcel Pronovo for Walton. McCreary shoots it over on the left-hand side for Shock. It's McCreary back to Bob Plager. Picked up by Jim Pappen. Pappen goes to the corner, shot it back. Bob Plager gets it. He's getting set, passed it right to Shock, right in front of the net and shot. And Bauer lies down and covers up. Game is coming to you from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. 33 seconds left. And on the out-of-town scoreboard, Bill Detroit, four, Pittsburgh, two. Toronto 8, St. Louis 1. Armstrong, a quick pass to Keon, going down to the Hobbit. One man back, back to the Hobbit. He's closing in in the pass, and Keon couldn't deflect it. It's Armstrong after the puck. He holds it there with 17 seconds left in the game. Toronto leading St. Louis, 8 to 1. Walton scored twice in the first period, then Pappen. Armstrong and two by Mahovlich in the second period. Mahovlich, Ellis, and Berenson in this final period. Berenson's goal came at 15:39, 17 seconds remaining. Walton is out on the ice. It's Keon, Mahovlich, Armstrong, Horton, and Walton from the faceoff. Keon after it. Keon stole the puck, centered it. Walton moves up. Armstrong is there, keeps it in with five seconds. Puck goes high. Walton gets a hold of it. Took a shot. The bell goes. And the game is over. As the Toronto Maple Leafs defeat the St. Louis Blues by a score of 8-1. to one. And there are balloons coming down from the rafters. As we wish everyone everywhere a very happy, prosperous, New Year 1968.